If you guys are new here today, I have a quick little freestyle beatbox for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. That bass groove, bass, bass, bass groove. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Lota. Bring you guys a brand new video, and I'm back playing Doku Doku Literature Club. Whoo! I'm recording this the day after I recorded the other one, so you guys, I'm recording this like a week in advance because I really want to play this game. So, if you guys remember from last episode, we just got done with uh, writing our poem. We're back in the club room for the second day now. We just joined it yesterday or the day before, yeah. And now. We're in here, Natsuki, if you guys remember, she found she got mad at something in the closet at the end of the last episode, we don't know what, we just know she sighed and she sounded irritated, and now we're asking her if she needed any help or if she's looking for anything. Other than that, right before I hop in here, if you guys are new here, I recommend you guys go check out the other episodes because this game is very story based. Other than that, let's go and get in here. You looking for something in there? Freaking Mona, Monoka. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up? Nazuki slides a bunch of stacked books and and boxes across the uh, across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How do you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one, one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns into a, uh, to a, bo a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. So it goes exactly right where it needs to go. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the, the most irritating sight in the world. Yeah, I mean, OCD, I can understand. I know that feel. Mm -hmm. I get a closer look at the box she, the, uh, set that she's admiring. Parfait, girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That's probably, uh, that probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go, you can go do it through the glass on, uh, on that door. She points uh, to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I don't know what it's about. You talking about me judging? It's not judging if I don't know what it's about. It's just like okay. I didn't even say anything. Like literally, I just looked. It was it it it, it was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Jace. Consider this a, stra a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> In fact, Nazuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in a colorful, in colorful attire, striking animate, uh, animated feminine po uh, poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there! Ugh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Dude, 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 enjoy the floor. It's not that big of a deal. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You, you don't get the full experience. We can't read at the same time like that. Oh, she's got a point. Eh, why is that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be closer like this. Ah, did you, d don't say, d don't just say that. It'll make me feel weird about it. We're just, we're just reading a book. Calm down. It isn't, it isn't that serious unless you want it to be. Unless, unless you want it to be. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I, wouldn't no I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already, I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? 
Uh, what? What did you say? I am, but nothing really happened yet, so I, I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical, a typical slice of life affair. I kind of, I kind of grew out of these. It's, it's a rare, for, it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? <laughs> well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I, I guess I, I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the, at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there are all kinds of drama. Like when they get into the back, into all the backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Eh, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't do a girl laugh, so I'm just gonna, I'll just do the beginning. <laughs> Hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Don't, don't, don't. Well, I mean, I said you're good at romance. Is that, is there a problem? Is there a problem with me saying you, you know what you're doing there? Natsuki gives me a little shove. Is there a problem? I and mean, I, I can't say I can't say you're just a, a, a romancer. Is there a problem with that? I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dragon Ball Z reference. Hmm. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> Haven't seen you with your full power. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is, is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, next Dookie pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Y yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? I mean, it's, it's sort of obvious since, you know, you, you did just make coke, like, cupcakes. Th that's <laughs> just a coincidence, are you sure? I just, I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got I got this manga. Or maybe the manga influenced you to bake. <laughs> I'm learning this girl slowly. Like I would, like I would ever get into anything because it's, because it's in a manga. <laughs> yes, exactly. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. That impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. Okay, I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, all of the hobbies to pick up pick up from a manga. That's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, because she, she could have got one of the weird house ones and we would have had a situation. Not to mention, she's really good at it. So, well, who am I to judge? That's true too. It's not like she just randomly picked it up and it's horrible. Oh, oh my god, that face. That did that did that. We read on for a few more pages. Four more and did that pages minutes. I finished a couple characters, uh, chat characters, characters. So we, we literally finished two letters. <laughs> okay, I finished a couple chapters at this point. That face. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? W well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun uh, sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince uh, any of my friends to pick up uh, uh, pick up a series I enjoy. I mean, people do that with games too. Think about it. You get the, you get your friend to play a game. You don't really sit there and like tell them everything about the game. You just sit there and watch them play. Now, if they ask you for help, you help. But other than that, you don't really do much. You just sit there and like watch it, and it's fun. You know what I mean? What you don't? Hmm. You don't? Um. That's not. Well, I I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. I'm guessing she doesn't have like a lot of friends or something. Like I like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Okay, yeah. Or that. Okay, no, she has friends. They're just they're dicks. Up. Uh, <laughs> or they're not your true friends. I can't even bring it up. Bring it up without them being all like. Eh? You still haven't grown, grown out of that that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. <laughs> Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find find friends who don't judge. Much less friends who are also into it. That's true. That's true for anything. Unless it's sports. <laughs> but finding true friends is still hard. 
I'm already kind of a loser, so I, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, that's uh, pr pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean... <laughs> yeah, wait, which, which part are we talking about with you? Are you saying I'm a loser, or are you saying... The <laughs> okay, I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. Damn. I don't even know what my dad what my dad would do if he found these if I found this. At least it's here it's safe here in the in the classroom. Except Minoka was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I I just can't win, can I? Well it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean I here I am reading it. Well it's not like well, that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? That's what matters. Haha! So, haha, <laughs> gotcha. Jeez, that's enough. Okay, what? What? Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a second. I'll flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuka starts laughing. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a joke on the page that we're either not gonna get or she gets it and she's or she's already read it. One of the two. I totally forgot that happens. Okay, Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky, but it keeps especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. <laughs> she, she's trying not to spoil it. She's like... Ah, ah, ah. Natsuki voice, N Natsuki's voice uh, sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy, bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connected with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience? That thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! Eh? Oh god, Jesus the poem. Okay, uh, are you all ready with today's poems? Oh Jesus, uh, oh come on! Could your timing be any worse? S sorry I just need to make sure we have we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Ha ha ha. Eh? Ah. <laughs> well, Natsuki suddenly notices notice how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. She's on like the other side of the fucking room now in the corner. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Ah, yeah, but I don't want to take your book. Manoka, Manoka just said, "Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you." Eh? Is this really? Is that really all right? I mean, it is. It is from your favorite collection. I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Uh, well, of course. Okay, well now we have two books to read. Everybody gonna give me a book? I mean, right now, the two that I, I, would, I would rather read hers than the other girl, sadly. Not sadly, I mean. Not to be mean and all, but I, I like this girl a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm biased. Just, just a tad. It would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish the, that one before, uh, before tomorrow so we can start the next one. Oh, God. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. That, that sounds about right. By tomorrow. How many pages is this thing? I mean, it is a manga, so I mean... I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's in, uh, enthusiastic face. That's true. Or am I more more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? More scared. All right then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, do you? Did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I'm not looking forward to this. <clears throat> My relaxation ends, exactly. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Oh, God. Um, do, can we pick? I can't wait! Sorry, uh, Sayori and Minoka enthousi enthusiastically pull out their poems. They're like, yeah! Sayori is, is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf, uh, di -di loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Minoka wrote hers in a composition book. I already see Minoka's pristine handwriting from where I sit. 
Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly com comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. It's like a slow process. It's like, eh. Who should I show my poem to for? Alright, well, I think it's fair that we're going to end it here. That's what we're gonna do. Actually, no, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna end it on a cliffhanger. You guys know, you guys already knew who I was gonna select. What are you talking about? All right, so guys, we're gonna end it here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, click the like button. If you guys are new to my channel, click that subscribe button. And meet up me in another one of my videos. And if you guys wish to be notified when I upload, click that notification bell so you guys will be notified on either in your email and on YouTube when I upload. And guys, help me grow the Ocean Militia by sharing this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit, or wherever. Other than that, hopefully you guys have a great day. Live, love, namaste.